Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, all honors, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, for Chachodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, the truth and sincerity, especially now risking your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and the Akwap out there listening and learning. You Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. So to you I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of our Father, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, by Hashem being in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls by the name of J.C., all right, and in this present evil kingdom, all right, knowing what's to come, hey, we gotta we gotta practice uh, stoicism. All right, so we're gonna look up this word stoicism, and then pull up some precepts uh, to get right into it. All right, so this is a stoicism synonyms for stoicism. All right, endurance, indifference, passivity, patience. Sobriety, right? And we've heard these words uh, a few different times, all right, throughout our lives, throughout the scriptures, right? In order, to, in order to get to the kingdom, what? Who who's gonna have this, right? The saints, right? This is the patience and the faith of the saints, all right? First Peter five and eight says, "Be sober, be vigilant," all right? That's so sobriety, clear clear of mind. All right, so in this present evil world, right, and things are, are presently ramping up, right, uh, by the second, all right, you know, for instance, they said by next month, all right, this is going to be a cashless society. A lot of people still deal in cash, all right? So you're going to have to have what? You're going to have to have patience, all right? You're going to have to uh, uh, be able to uh, adapt to the situation. Now, with that being said, all right, because they're going to uh, ultimately usher in, all right, because it's a thing called gradualism, all right? So what, what I'm talking about is, you know, when they slowly uh, introduce things to you, all right? So, so it's not a sudden change. It's a, it's a, 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 you know, it's a slow process, all right, to get you used to what's going on, all right? So in this case, the MO to the T and the B, man, all right, the little uh, radio frequency ID chip, all right, that is what they're ultimately uh, running after, all right, to, to, that you can buy or sell with, all right? So when this uh, USD, all right, when it comes to a close, all right, they're going to they're gonna do away with that, all right, the, 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 the cash, all right, because it's going to be a cashless society to, to usher in the MO to the T and the B, man, all right, which is a, a little chip, all right? To put under your under your flesh, so you can buy or sell. If you don't have that, you, you basically gonna be uh, SOL, man. Shit out of luck. All right. So with that, you're gonna have to practice stoicism. You're gonna have to practice uh, how to have patience for the things that's 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 gonna be coming. You're gonna have to have endurance. All right. The scripture says, "For those that endure until the end, the same shall be saved." All right. So you're gonna have to learn to have stoicism. All right. Um, so yeah, let's pull up a, a few scriptures, all right, just based on that. <clears throat> so, like, yeah, this is uh, oh, perfect, let's go to it. This is Romans 15, and verse 4 it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So, everything that's written in these in these here scriptures was written for the Israelites, the Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians. So that we would know how to be able to uh, maneuver in these times, all right? How we would be able to answer uh, things, how we would be able to get through situations, all right? That we can have the comforter, all right? We have these scriptures to comfort us through those hard times because we're the ones that's walking through the valley of the, the shadow of death, all right? America is that shadow of death. Everywhere you look, it, you know, it's, it's a, a, a teaching and practicing of death, man. The ways of this world, this present evil world is all death. Right, anything that opposes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is of death. 
right? If they're not doing anything according to the scriptures, right, which is the statutes, the laws, the commandments, it's 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 an opposition, right? And those that are friends of the world are at enmity with the Lord, man. Right? Now, if you were of the if, if you were of the world, the world would love his own, but we not of the world. Right? We practice the ways of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Right? We follow the statutes, laws, and commandments. And therefore, people what? They shun us. Right? They don't want to have nothing to do with us. And that's totally fine because we don't want nothing to do with them either. What fellowship have light with dark? Right? What fellowship with, with a lamb with a wolf? There is none. Right? Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? The answer is no. All right? So with that, you know, we, we prefer each other. We prefer those of like minds. All right? Those that are teaching the like doctrines. All right? Because... You know, if you follow the ways of this world and you follow men's doctrine, you're gonna be you're gonna be a, a loss in the sauce, man. All right, you're gonna be led to the slaughter along with everybody else. So uh, again, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn how to have patience, man. All right, so Romans fifteen and four says, "For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, because things are gonna get rough, man." Scripture said, uh, through much tribulation to enter the kingdom of heaven. So hey, all these Catholics and Christians think they're just about to just, you know, fucking skip through like damn Dorothy on a yellow brick road. That ain't happening, man. We're going to have to go through through hell. All right. Something like when I was in the Marine Corps, all right, we had this thing called the crucible. It's the last three days of boot camp. All right. You only get like a certain amount of uh, MREs, which is meals ready to, see, ready to eat, these little, you know, boxes of little bo boxes of food, right, which hold a lot of calories, surprisingly. And, um, you know, you got three days of doing all types of activities, obstacle courses and, you know, how to work as a team and, you know, not as individuals, all right? Again, to have patience, have endurance, you know, got to have stamina. You got to be sober-minded, right? You're going to have to be able to do these things because and it's a 50-mile hike, all right? so-called 50-mile hike, and at the very last thing, it's, the, uh, it's called the Reaper, this big-ass hill, which you literally have to lean over at, like, 90 degrees to get up that hill. Mind you, you're in California, where it's hot as all hell, it's hills everywhere, all right? You got all your gear on, your damn Kevlar helmet, your your your, your BDUs, right, your, your, your camouflage uniform, you got these heavy-ass boots on, you got your eight-pound weapon, and you got your heavy ass backpack on your back. All right. Three days of doing this, man. All right. So that last thing is called it's called the Reaper, this big ass hill. All right. And that when you get to the top, then that's when they, they say you're no longer a recruit. You are now a Marine. All right. And, and I bring that up to, to get to a point because the whole like all these other military branches. Right. You are already. For Army, you're already a soldier. Navy, you're already a, a sailor. Air Force, you're already an airman. Marine, you're a recruit until you graduate. That's why with all the other branches, they can say, oh, I'm X this, I'm X that. Marines will say, no, we Marines until the day we did. Because we're the only ones that actually earn that title. And I, I'm, the point is this. We're, we're, uh, we're right now, we, we're, we're going through the crucible, man. Right? We're going to go through Jacob's trouble. All right, that's going to be the crucible for us. All right, so you again, you're going to have to have that stamina. You're going to have to have that endurance. You're going to have to have that patience, that sober, so that sobriety. All right, because it's going to be hard times, and how do we do that? The scriptures. This is this is written for our time. This is uh, written a four time for our learning. You know, this is what we have. This is what's going to get us through. This is our uh, uh, teddy bear to a child, as it were. All right. This is our comforter. All right. So we're going to have to learn to endure and have patience for the things that's coming. All right. <clears throat> Let's get another one real quick. Um, matter of fact, let's go to let's go to Sirach. This is Sirach. Two straight to the point. Verse four it says what whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. We, all the things that's, that's going to be coming to us. You're going to have to have that type of mindset. You're going to have to learn how to embrace the suck. Because if you don't, right, you start getting those doubts, you know, the, the, the feeling of being depressed and such and such. Hey, man, 
them demons are attracted to that, man. Right? The demons are attracted to that. That that that's telling them we're winning. Yeah, let's let's go pile up on his ass. Look at he's depressed. He's down. He 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 he, he, he he's not thinking about the scriptures. He's not thinking about the Lord. He's got all kinds of doubt. Them demons gonna pile on you. You know, you you got to be prepared for that, man. Right? That's why the, the scriptures say you got to put on the whole the whole uniform of the Lord, man. The helmet, right? The 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 the, the shield, right? You got to put on the whole you dig, man. Because if you don't, hey, the, the, the wiles of the devil will get you, man. All right? You, you got to be fully rooted and built up in this faith, man, to be able to endure the things that's coming, to endure that uh, uh, that crucible, as it were. All right? Because if you're not, you, you're going to be shit out of luck. I mean, you're going to be right there with the rest of them because you gave up patience for the Lord. You gave up faith for the Lord. All right? So, again, Sirach. Also known as Ecclesiasticus 2 and 4 says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. You got to learn how to uh, embrace that, man. Embrace those things that's coming. Right? While everybody else around you is falling out and depressed and all upset, you got to put on, man. You got to put on as the elect. You got to know that the Lord and the angels is already there and they, they just letting you walk through. They behind you. You got a whole entourage of, uh, 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 of angels and the Lord behind you, man. So what are you, you going to be upset about? All you got to do is just do the walk, man. Just do your crucible. Get it out the way. All right? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. See, all these people, they ain't used to this comfort shit, man. They don't know what it's like to, uh, to have things that are, are, are not of comfort. They don't know what it's like, to, especially these wealthy, rich people, man. They don't, they don't know what it's like. They always had a gold and silver spoon in their mouth. They didn't grow up, grow up in the projects. They didn't grow up poor. They didn't grow up uh, check to check. All right. They didn't grow up. Mama, what's for dinner tonight? Oh, I don't know. We gotta go to church to see. Right. Uh, Mama, can I count, can I comb my hair? And pa passing you a fork to pick your fro. They didn't grow up doing none of that shit, man. All right. That's all they know is comfort. Right. And then uh, well, look what happened when uh when the internet went out, man. They lost their damn minds. Some people committed suicide, man. All they know is comfort. So when it, when, it, when it gets to the times where it's going to be very uncomfortable during Jacob's troubles and so on, hey, you're going to have to learn how to embrace that shit, man. You better start practicing now. All right? You got to have patience, man. Because it, it, it's about to get real hairy out there. All right? It's about to be a, a whole lot of uh, killings and such, man. All right? Because it's going to be a... a um, you know, like again, with the dollar crashing, what does that mean? All right, you got these, you got these semi trucks going to or fro. You start seeing them less and less semi trucks on the road. Hey, that's a that's a red flag because that means what? No import, no export. So that means these storehouses are suddenly going to seem empty. All right, no food in the store. So what is that going to do? That's going to cause panic. What is that going to do? Eventually, it's going to cause people to go uh, uh fucking crazy, going upside each other's people's heads, man. Killing each other because a lot of these people got families. They got to feed their families. So what are they going to do? Like anybody else would say they got families. I'm going to do every, do anything and everything I got to do by, by any means necessary to feed my family. That means go upside your fucking head. Go stealing. Go in your house and breaking your shit. Steal your shit. All right. Maybe possibly kill. Hurt. Maim. Right. Because iniquity shall abound. Lawlessness shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. So we, these are things you're going to have to have patience and endurance for. You're going to have to learn how to embrace these uncomfortable times, man. All right. So again, Sirach 2 and 4, also known as Ecclesiasticus 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. When you go from whatever lifestyle you're living right now to where we ain't got it like that. We damn near living like the, the homeless. You're going to have to embrace that. You're going to have to have patience for that. All right. Let's get one more. This, going back into the book of Romans. This is uh, Romans 12. And it's like it. 12 and 16. It says, be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things. But condescend, right? Go in the way to men of low estate, those the, those other men of humble, 
humbleness, right? So basically preferring one another. When all the when all hell breaks loose, we want to hopefully the Lord will put us all in, you know within some type of a, a, a distance where we can be you know find each other and, and get through these things, man. Because where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of thee. Roughly paraphrasing, right? So we we want to be able to hopefully find brothers in this truth, man. When the shit hits the fan, right? It, it, it's better to have uh, two or more, right, to band together because you know. Sword sharp, sharp and sword, all right. And, and what better, uh, 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 you know, companionship than those that are uh, of the Lord, right? So these are the things you're gonna uh, want to deal with when all hell breaks loose, man. You're gonna have to have patience. You're gonna have to be able to embrace the the, the shit, man. All right. You're gonna have to be of a sober mind. All right. Again, this is all practice of stoicism. All right. So with that, a Lord willingness is edifying, giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Chodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, and all the teachers out there pushing this word and truth, of truth and sincerity, especially now with your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Stay prayed up, repent, and a Baba Ball. Shalom.